Hey guys, Raider here. Hope you're all doing great and having a fantastic day. So in today's video, we're going to be doing something cool here. We're going to emulate a Wear OS device on our PC and try it out before you buy. This is great for those of you that are interested, maybe the Watch 5 that's coming out or picking up a Watch 4 because those run on Wear OS. Uh, granted, they do have the One UI integration baked in, but uh, this will give you a pretty good idea of all the features you can expect on the watch, minus the widgets and stuff from Samsung. But it gives you a pretty good idea of what to expect from any Wear OS device. And you can also um, emulate other Android devices such as foldables and phones. So we're gonna go over setting this up do a quick walkthrough. It's a little bit of a nerdy video, but not too bad, guys, I promise. I'll make this easy on you. We're basically gonna be um, checking out this IDE here, which is called Android Studio, um, and setting up a couple emulators to run, and uh, the process isn't too difficult. So let me go ahead and walk you through getting started. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is just open up a browser window, type in Android Studio, and you should see some links to developer.android.com, and you'll see this first link here. We wanna click this, and you're going to just download Android Studio. Super simple, agree to their license agreement, all this stuff. I already have it installed, but I'm just walking you through the initial steps, you guys. Um, and then you're gonna download this. Once it's done downloading, you're just gonna run through the installer just like you would any other Windows installer. There's just a couple little next buttons you have to click. And then to open up Android Studio, just go down to your start menu, start typing Android Studio, it'll be there. All right, the first time it loads, it's gonna take a little bit. It's loading some libraries and all that good stuff. It's not too bad though. Sometimes it'll give you some little helpful pointers and tips. So what this is, is an Android developer's IDE or integrated development environment. I know that sounds really fancy and the screen looks a little complex here, but for the sake of actually emulating an Android device, we only need to focus on one of these tabs. So I got a super big mouse pointer going on for you guys so you guys can track this pretty easily. We're gonna go over to the right-hand side of the screen and click on emulator. This is really the only tab that we're concerned with on this entire screen throughout this entire exercise. So you'll see here it says no running emulators, and you'll see this option here to open up its version of Device Manager. And this isn't Device Manager on your Windows PC. This is the devices that are being used by the IDE. So we're going to go ahead and click on this. All right, my kids acted up there for a second. So uh, where was I? Uh, so yeah, the Device Manager. So the Device Manager, we're going to click on this, and this is going to allow us to set up new emulators. And we set up an emulator for each type of device that we want to emulate. So like a Wear OS watch a foldable phone, a regular slab phone, whatever we want to emulate, we're going to create an emulator for each one of them. So let me walk you through that real quick. It's not hard. Don't worry. All right. We'll click on device manager. You'll see here that I already have two in this list. So you can just pretend these don't even exist. Um, and we're going to go ahead and create a new device. And that'll be the only option that you guys will see. Click on that. We got some pretty cool options here. All right. So this is going to load up an emulator device selection screen. You see here on the far left, we have different categories, TVs, phones, Wear OS. And uh, believe me, guys, when I mean you can emulate a lot of different devices, I'm talking a lot. Like we have all the Pixel devices here. Keep on going down. We have Nexus devices, Galaxy. We have 8-inch fold-out device. Here, let me spread this out a little bit. 7.6-inch fold without a display. Hmm, I wonder what that's targeting. 7.4-inch rollable, 6.7-inch horizontal fold-in device. So, I mean, you're able to do all kinds of different emulation here. But what we're focused on and what we're going to try for this video here is Wear OS, right? So we can basically pick between four different types of Wear OS watches, uh, square, small round, rectangle, and large round. So let's go ahead and mimic what the Watch 5 is going to be and pick a large round one. All right, and we'll go ahead and click Next. So what you're going to see is these different versions of Android that you can download. And it starts out with the newest version on top, and it goes back in time as you go down the list. And you'll see that for each one of these, there's a download link next to each one, because the first time you go to use a particular emulator, you need to download the assets off of their website. So all that's gonna do is here, I'll just show you real quick. So if I click on one of these older ones, I'll click on this, it's downloading in the background. I'm gonna go ahead and kick. I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel because we don't need this to finish because the one we want is this top one right here, which is the latest Android version. And this is gonna put us on Wear OS 3.0. So let's go ahead and let's click next. All right, portrait landscape. This doesn't really apply to watches. We can leave all the defaults here. Um, we're basically saying it's a Wear OS large round watch device. Um, and we will go ahead and click finish. And once it's done, we now have it in our list. So you'll see this button here that looks like a play button, just like you want to start a video. You go ahead and click on that. 
It's not going to do anything at first. Give it just a second. All right. Below it, the emulator page is starting to load the watch, or I should say, Wear OS interface. So what we can do is we can now minimize the device manager by just clicking on this tab to the right. It'll get rid of it. Now we're going to have this whole side of the screen for our Wear OS watch. So it's now connecting to it. Give it just a little bit, and then it's going to load up. All right, so it's just like powering on a Wear OS watch. As newer versions of the firmware become available, you'll be able to download them on here and try them as well. Like I know uh, Wear OS 3.5 is in the works right now. All right, shows it starting. Give it just a second. It takes a little bit to boot up. I mean, it's just like loading up a watch, starting up from fresh. It just gave us a chime, so it must be finishing up. All right, we are now to the watch's home screen. So let's walk through the buttons up top to now how to control this, right? So here we have the power button to turn the simulated watch on and off. We can turn the volume controls up and down. We can rotate left, rotate right. We can basically go back, which mimics swiping back on the watch itself. Here's our home key to go back home and toggle back and forth between it. We also have an overview. We can take a screenshot. We can look at our snapshots. And we have more functionality that we can do by the watch by clicking these three little ellipses. And this is going to pull up some extended controls. Let me move this out of the way. Let's us adjust our location, cellular, battery, even adjust like rotary input. Watch a watch face behind the screen as I go around. You see our input having an effect on the watch behind the scenes there. So you can basically uh, do some fine-tuned advanced controls. But let me walk you through some more stuff with this real quick. So here we are at the main watch screen. We can swipe down with our mouse. Just hold down on the left mouse button and swipe down. Here we have all of our setting toggles that we can adjust. Like, for example, we can, uh, you know, turn the flashlight on. Turn it off real quick. Swipe back down to get back to settings here. We can go through all of these. Like, click on display. We can even change watch faces, right? Let's say we want to switch over to something different. We have different watch faces here. I can switch over to this one. Click on it to apply it. Go back down. We have a lot more settings to go through as well. Um, you can adjust the gestures, apps and notifications, sound, vibration, battery, general health services, location. Everything that you would have on a Wear OS watch, you can basically emulate and simulate right here from your PC. You know, we go into general, show on red dot for your messages, auto launch media controls, start a tutorial. Um, you can access the Play Store. Uh, you do have to log into a Google account, but it gives you all those abilities. Uh, you swipe left and right to go through your different widgets or compilations, I should say, for Wear OS, but widgets on the One UI side. Uh, we can go over here to our notifications and calendar. Um, any one of these screens, we can just go back like this. Here's our recent events. So there's not much on the basic bare bones Wear OS. That's what I love about uh, the One UI integration. You get so many more widgets and stuff from Samsung. But uh, still, nonetheless, a really cool way for you to try out and play with Wear OS and also play around with different devices as well. All right, guys, just a quick nerdy video. We've got the uh, Samsung Unpack 2022 event coming up. I'm going to be getting a lot of those things, and uh, we'll have a lot of videos on it, that's for sure. Uh, a lot of activity coming up on the channel, that's for darn sure. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching.